Hi. Today my topic is to what extent and for what reasons does entrepreneurship tend to be geographically clustered? The short answer would be it depends. Hmm. It depends on which industry are you looking at, how do you define clusters, how do you define entrepreneurship, how do you measure clustering, how do you measure ge geographically proximity, and how do you measure or which type of entrepreneurship are you looking at. So, in the literature's findings are very mixed and they support a variety of reasons. Some are more credible than others, or at least I evaluate them as more likely than others. And so, what I will present you is a selection of the current literature's finding on reasons and extent. My basic hypothesis is that existing clusters are traces of former entrepreneurship. So if we try to find out why entrepreneurship clusters, we also can study why cluster exists in the first place. And <coughs> clusters, the, the, the definition Porter gave us was that a cluster is a geographic dense region of uh, business entities which are uh, which engage in the same industry or related industries. And the geographical level can be chosen at any type. You can look at continents, then you see Europe and you have the yellow banana and the blue banana. Or you can look at the world and see, oh, here we have a high-tech cluster and there we have more service clusters. Or you can look at regions. And I will present you some findings from the United States. This map is also based on Porter's judgment, he identified some, some clusters and mapped them geographically. Why do I say judgment? Because it's the definition of geographic proximity, um, only quantitative, is not so easy. You have the choice to go with postal code, postal codes and try to match firms which have the same uh, standard industry classification code uh, to the same postal code and look at the concentration there. Or you can go with headquarters of firms and just look at the city level. And still you wouldn't get the right answer. For example, the medical device cluster in Massachusetts you know where I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, has long been undetected because uh, there are 400 firms engaged in the production of medical devices, but they have three standard industry codes which totally hide it. So they range from plastic manufacturing to electronic devices, and they are also spread around uh, many postal codes. <coughs> One cluster I want briefly talk about is the OMA telemarketing cluster. I have no idea to which extent it still exists. The study is from 1998. So Porter says it's all this telemarketing cluster emerged due to a decision of a political organization, the Air Force because they decided to locate the uh, telephone service here. And this forced the local telephone company to develop 
capacities to handle this demanding customer. And they developed so good uh, capacities that it also attracted other businesses uh, which are engaged in telemarketing or which use telemarketing infrastructure. Another cluster which will illustrate the definition is the California wine cluster. The California wine cluster <coughs> is an agglomeration of industries or business entities engaged in the same industry and related industries and the whole value chain. There are 400 wineries and over 1,000 independent uh, grape growers as well as the value chain with engaged in with advertising of wines, with producing wine publications, with educating people. The California University has the in vitro program for wine research. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, of course the whole equipment is produced there barrels and uh, also harvesting equipment and um, what else? Yeah, mm, this is just an example and shows him the value chain could be one cluster. Furthermore, it, it alludes to a first reason why clusters exist in the first place. It might be due to a unique factor bound to one region. Like California, the Sunshine State is ideally for wine production. Several other, other examples exist for this unique location-based factor, like the Rotterdam Transportation Network is mainly due to access to waterways, to the whole European waterway system and also to intercontinental waterways. Uh, or in Finland we have an environmental cluster which is caused by pollution of industry which created the demand for environmental organizations to locate there.